Oh, good. You're here. I've been watching you, Delson Rowe, testing you while you assembled your little bag of tricks. Very impressive. Yeah? Well, I know all about what you did, too. Using Hank to set up that crash? Making Eugene and Fetch look like monsters just so you could look like the hero? Someone has to protect the conduits. Protect? <laughs> In the seven years since my DUP took over conduit oversight from the military, not a single one of our kind has been killed. No, of course not. Could you just hunt them down and lock them up? Yes, in Curtin K. Protected from the mobs that want to kill conduits. It's what's best for them, whether they know it or not. <laughs> you just make that decision for them, huh? Some decisions are too important. I've seen how people look at you in the street. Do you know how rare it is? For the powerless to embrace a conduit? You've got to use that popularity, that trust, to convince them that the only solution to the bio-terrorist menace is my DUP. Did you know that over half the conduits who died in the bloodbath seven years ago were killed by the military. If they regain control, what makes you think things won't return to those good old days? No. No, I'm gonna expose you and your deception, and then we'll see who the real protector is. That would be a death sentence for all conduits. I can't let you do that. And I won't let you stop me. You want my power? You got it. Seven years ago, my unit was there to save lives from a new threat. Conduits. People with powers that no one understood. They had the power to kill. and the power to transform some of us into conduits, too. I found another survivor. She tailed me as I made my way back to the safety of my battalion. Together, we traveled through a lawless city that wanted us dead because of what we now were. Every day, people joined the lynch mob, horrified by the thought of conduits hiding among them. 
We'd hurt no one. But they could only see us as monsters. When military order finally asserted itself, they treated us as the threat. I was conduit. I was military. But I couldn't be both. So I made another option. It was the only way. By bringing in that first conduit alive, I'd earned the government's trust. And that was just the start. They funded the creation of the DUP, thinking we were just freaks, hunting down other freaks. But that wasn't it. I was going to save as many conduits as I could. If my kind were going to live, it'd be behind the walls of Curtin K. Seven years, I've kept them safe. Me, I won't let anyone undo that. Not the government. Not the army. Not you. Seven years, all you've done is keep them locked up. You just took away their freedom. So tell me, what would you do? Just throw open the gates at Curtin K Station? Set them all free? You bet your ass I would. The world hasn't changed in the past seven years. Inside, the conduits are safe. They're alive. If you turn them out, they'd all be dead inside a week. So tell me, who's the savior? And who's the monster? This is what you wanted! You win! We both have the same power! Only difference is... I've had seven years to practice.
That's all I'm gonna need. Hold that hurts. When the dust finally settled, all you could see of Augustine were her eyes peering out from that concrete shell. The rage that had filled them moments earlier was now replaced by fear. We dismantled the fortress she had built, the army she had raised, the future she had planned. The entire world was about to know that she had failed. Taken down by a gamer, a junkie, and a small town delinquent. The crowds cheered as Augustine was hauled away. Before all this, no one would have imagined that humans and conduits could coexist. And now I was the guy kicking off the second age. Oh, and those conduits who'd spent years locked inside the walls of Curtin K? They were soon to be free once again, to live their own lives, to choose their own futures. As for me, I'd gotten what I came for. And now, now I had a promise to keep. <laughs>